What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Matt Scora. Um, the Miami Dolphins just picked him up on a one-year deal. Uh, sorry if there's any background noise in this video. I'm trying to get this out um, as soon as possible because I've already seen people asking me about this signing. Um, not a big fan of it. It's a one-year deal, so it kind of is what it is. Uh, it doesn't really change my opinion. I still want to draft a center because I don't really like Matt Scora that much as a center. Talking to Ravens fans... Um, it sounds as though he has issues actually snapping the football, which, you know, is pretty important for a center, I would say. Um, so I'm not a fan there. And just general talking to Ravens fans, it sounds like they're pretty happy that he's gone. So, yeah, it's, um, I'm not really feeling that great about this signing at all. Um... And the Ravens use him really, really strangely. As you see up here, I have Ravens 65 up here. Um, even though Matt Scora is 68, right? Well, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so I have his game logs, according to the NFL, pulled up right now. He is reported to have started every regular season game for the Ravens this year, except for Dallas, Jacksonville, and Cincinnati. But... When we actually get into the film, it's not really the case. Uh, so this is the Giants game. where, And uh, according to the NFL, he did start this game. It's the most recent game he had that he started, at least for the regular season. But as you see here, Matt Scora reported in, as eligible, like an eligible receiver. So right now he's playing swing tackle. You, and you can see him right here. He's playing swing tackle right here. And number 65, Patrick McCarry, is the center right now. And it's not just this play. Like, it's not like some weird package. Okay, we're going to move him over, bring the backup center in. No, that's not the case. Because uh, when we go to this play, Scora is just off the field. So he's like the swing tackle in this situation. But then you go to the second quarter. Go to their first drive in the second quarter. And Scora is in at center. And it, there was no injury. We, we go back to the first quarter, the last drive, the guy's last play, the touchdown. And we've still got Makari here, and we have Scora out at swing tackle again. So I, this is such a difficult evaluation. I don't understand how to evaluate this. Um, but, hey, I mean... We'll do what we can, right? At least we can see his ability to block. Uh, so let's see. Got his hands inside. He's working with the tight end to take this guy away. I mean, that's pretty simple play for him. Not mad at that play, I guess. But he's not on the field here. And that's not the only time he gets reported in as eligible. He's in on this play, too. He's right over here. I haven't really looked at the film that heavy. I, I was just kind of looking at this whole weird situation, like this weird way that Baltimore was using him. If there's any Ravens fans, let me know, because... You would probably know more than me because it's it, it, it's your team, right? Let me know what was going on with this, because I don't get it. I don't I don't get what I don't get what the, this approach is. It's so strange. He looks kind of lost in zone run, and you being lost as the center isn't really good either. Because if you're lost, then you giving commands to the other offensive lineman is pretty much going to be a net failure. So, hang on, go, screw it, um, I can't do nothing about it, it's just so strange to me, I don't know. Score is eligible again here. I 
right here. So he works well in combo blocks, it looks like. But when he gets upfield, he just looks lost. Which, again, is a bad trait for a center. Honestly, I think he'd be a better guard. Um... Because if he's having issues snapping the ball and he looks lost, that just doesn't sound like a center to me. All right, here he is. Baltimore does a lot of... I need to see a play I can properly evaluate. Okay. Him and Ben Powers. I remember. I remember uh, watching Ben Powers. Actually, I got video. I got a video on him coming out the draft. Um, a decent little combo block. Good there. Um, he came off the guard and it was a pretty, pretty good transition there. Got his hands inside. It's not bad. Feet are okay. Base gets a little bit wide. He does seem to have some athleticism. I'll give him that. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't be getting pushed over that easy, bro. You got to finish, man. You got to finish. You got your hands inside. You got to finish. You can't let them up. Little quick set. Ben Powers used to do that too at Oklahoma. Little quick set, get his hands inside quick. Just be careful doing that because they can pull cloth. Because when you quick set like that, you have to lunge. And if, if they pull cloth or if they pull down on your hands, you're going to go to the ground. Yeah, his base gets really wide sometimes. Um, you gotta finish, man. Hold on to your blocks. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling this, dude. I'm gonna be honest. That wasn't bad. Held your ground even after Ben Powers wasn't helping you anymore. Also, sorry about the wind. Flag. Um, nice little block. So he seems to be pretty good with combo blocks. He doesn't seem to be lacking power. So I'm thinking guard might actually be better for him, to be honest. He's got to stop getting pushed over, though. I'll tell you that. Let's go wide. I'm pretty sure he just fell over. Watch this. <laughs> kind of look like... Uh... Well, that's his own guy pushing him over. That's the right tackle. Pushing him over. Oh, no, no, that was Ben Powers. You're in my way, sir. Where are you going? You just go, just, just lay down.
He doesn't seem to be lacking power. He looks like he's pretty good as far as actually blocking goes. And honestly, individual blocking, he might actually be better than Ted. Like, that was a pretty good rep just then. I just don't think he should be a center. I think if you put him at guard, I think he'd actually be okay. He's just not a center. He might play center, but he shouldn't. It's because you play center. doesn't mean you are one. There you go. There you go. Here we go. It's not the worst signing in the world, but I don't want him to start for us. Not at center. I don't really want him to start for us, period, either. Because I, I like our two young guards, Hunt and Kinley. Assuming we get a tackle and we can move Hunt to guard. That's what I, that's what I really want to do. Yeah, this is where it gets kind of spooky. Yeah. yeah. He got up field too early. Finish your block, man. Finish your block. Oh, he he's gonna drive me nuts with that. I can't stand it when players don't finish. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's uh, let's go to a different game. Um, let's watch Pittsburgh. Why are you being slow? Okay, here we go. My bad. Uh, Ravens, are you starting? No. Who the hell is that? They got another center starting out of him? I'm so confused. Are you starting now? No. Baltimore, why do you have to be so weird? You did play against Pittsburgh, didn't you? Yeah. I don't get it. Hmm. Strange. Let's go to the second quarter. Do they not let him start until the second quarter starts? Is that him right there? No. Ah, what is going on? Let's go. What's a game that I know for a fact he played in? Oh, wait. No, he didn't play week 12. Is that week 12? Okay. Let's go to the other game against the Steelers then. My bad. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing the other Steelers game. Okay. 
So he might have been injured or something. Um, there he is. And he's actually playing center. Let's see what you do against to it. Okay, that's not bad. This is a much better defense than the one they played in the Giants. Although the Giants defense started to do pretty good toward the end of the year. To be fair. Their defense and running game really improved. He does move well. He does move well at the second level. He just looks lost sometimes. I really think we should try him out at guard. See how that works for him. What do y'all think about this? Because I'm not a big fan of Austin Jackson. Now, keep in mind, if he like vastly improves um, going into next year, this opinion is different. But if he is what he what he was last year, what would you think about drafting a center, for sure, moving this guy to left guard, putting Kinley at right guard, and Hunt at right tackle still? I still want to draft a tackle, but that might be something to consider. I think I like this guy better at guard. Yeah, um, that's not good for a center right there. Um, you needed to pass Cameron Hayward over to your guard here and block Vince Williams. This is the exact same type of thing that Ted Karras wasn't good at. And Scora is doing the exact same shit. Tua's not going to do that. Tua's got some athleticism, but he isn't going to do this. Mm. The very least, the scenario I was just talking about... I mean, I, I guess if, if we get some injuries on the offensive line... Because I, I still want to draft a center... Um, this guy, I don't want him to be our number one center. I want either Landon Dickerson or Creed Humphrey still um, as our starter. And then this guy is a backup guard slash center. And to be fair, I do like him as a, our backup guard slash center than the one we have currently, which is Michael Dieter. Because Michael Dieter is way worse. I'm pretty sure Michael Dieter can't be trusted to choose if he wants a burger or a chicken sandwich. I don't think he can figure that out. So. Yeah, anyway, um, I, th I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Um, we, we pretty much have the idea of him. He seems like he's okay. He gets his hands inside. His feet look okay. He's got some athleticism. Base gets a little bit wide. I'd like to see him clean that up. Um, and from Baltimore fans and... Also, not just the fans, but I, I even heard just throughout the season um, about people complaining about the, his inability to snap the ball consistently. That was a definite storyline, especially like mid to late part of the year. Because um, for a while there, Baltimore was starting to look like they might not make the playoffs for a while. And I remember he was a big part of the reason why. So, yeah, man. Um, I, I, I think... Being a backup center slash guard would be good, but I don't think this fixes our problem at center. I'm not a big fan of him. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, see in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.